For those of you new to ice fishing, these are tip-ups. In New York, each fisherman is allowed seven of these. Once assembled, they form a cross, which keeps it from falling through the hole. On the bottom of each tip-up is a reel, spooled with line, with your hook tied on it, and on the top is a flag that you extend. We like to place rubber bands on the hook and wrap it around the line. This prevents tangles from your pack basket or your bucket first thing in the morning when you want to be fishing instead of undoing a mess. Here my father uses a fish finder. Minnows are our bait of choice for trout. We hook them through the back so that they can swim freely. Once you lower your minnow down into the water, the fish finder will tell you exactly how deep your minnow is. Lowered all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For lake trout, they like to feed right in the bottom. That's my setup going down. And of course, this keeps everything from freezing up. Once your minnow's at the depth that you want it to be, you lower your tip up down on top of the ice, and your reel sits in the water. The flag is set so that now when a fish takes the line, takes the minnow, and runs with it, the flag will fly up in the air alerting you that you have a fish on. Okay. Here's our good buddy Randy on Indian Lake. A laker? Oh. Salmon? Trout? Catch some fun. See now? It was 19 when I got out of the truck. Oh, I'm warming up. Yeah. Very good. We've Massively. Got, got our little hut over there with coffee and donuts. And it's going to be a wonderful day. First Indian Laker. <laughs> good job, Randy.